Hello reality viewers, welcome back again to Reality Latest G's, the home of news and politics. For this channel, we they drop news every day and we they react to every video where it comes our way. And our reality news now we they drop for this channel and we they also they talk on as it be. If today now the first time we say they come across this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are returning subscribers, I appreciate all of you now for now massive support to this channel. I say may God bless all of you now in Jesus name. Amen. I get video away I want to present to Una this very moment. And I go to follow now. They watch the video. After we don't watch them together, make we drop our opinion constructively for the comment section. Like our videos and also share our videos if possible. Bye for now. I want to congratulate all of you. And so thank you for being our representatives, representatives of our great party at the polling unit level, at the world level, at the local government level, to the third district level, and state level. If you please God to give you the opportunity to serve our party at this time. Take it as a blessing from God. It is an opportunity for you to not only to serve our party, but to serve humanity. APC is a party to be in Imo State. And under my watch, we must do politics the way it's supposed to be done. The party will be involved in my government. The government belongs to the party. The party does not belong to the government. So we will support the party that threatened the government. As our party, as we continue to drive our program, carrying our party along, going forward, all the extra members of our party, from the unit level, to the world level, to local government level, to the state level, will be receiving monthly allowance. From their friends, all the people that we are hired to kill our people, we have started picking all of them. As much we pick a suspect, you know, they have confessed those who are paying them. We have gotten the bank account from where they have been transferring money to them. And we have seen them. When I will address the most stakeholders on January 3rd, I will call their names one by one. You know, the news making the rounds now is that the members of uh, the uh, Nigerian Labour Congress are planning to embark on a nationwide uh, protest because of the, you know, speculated removal of subsidy from fuel, removal of fuel subsidy. And we will recall that just last month, the group managing director of NNPC has actually threatened the whole Nigerians that if the fuel subsidy is removed, that the price of petrol may go up to more than 300 naira. I am making this video because the time has come for us to start telling ourselves the truth. All these politics of uh, subsidy or no subsidy should not actually be in existence if we are telling ourselves the truth. There are too many private people that can set up private refineries in this country. If only the NMPC will, you know, if the federal government, for example, will completely deregulate the fuel sector, in a situation whereby the federal government through the NMPC you will just be saddled with the responsibility of marketing Nigerian crude oil. You can say to international community and you can say locally 
There are too many people who can set up private refineries that are refining fuel in this country. And then the standard organization of Nigeria, we have the, 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 you know, the work of ensuring that everybody is uh, refining, refining to standard. There are too many things we can do in this country. The presidency has gone ahead to say we don't have vacancies in the federal government for employment. We don't have vacancies in the state government for employment. We don't have vacancies even in the local governments. And now the youth of Nigeria are not job fully employed anywhere. Nobody is providing job for the youth. And uh, even in Nigeria, we have Petroleum University somewhere in Delta State. There's a Petroleum University. And people are graduating from this, this school every year. Where are they expected to work? Now we are refining petrol outside Nigeria, you know, bringing into this country. Whereas there are people who can set up private refineries. All the refineries in Nigeria are not working up to their, you know, installed capacity. Even if, 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 if they are even working at all. And now we have something where we can generate massive employment for the youth and nobody is looking into that. And then we're talking about the removal of fuel subsidy. All of us travel abroad and we know it in America, for example, where I do drive at times when I go to America, I do rent car and I do drive myself around using map. You know, it, it is not the same price that they save fuel everywhere. You can see a, a particular place and they will display their price. In fact, there's a place you go buy fuel in the morning. When you go back tomorrow to buy fuel, they have changed their price. They will always tell you the price they are selling. But there is always a limit that you cannot exceed. You cannot go higher of a particular price. But you can decide to sell lower to attract more customers. It's a very simple thing that we can do in this country, whereby so many people are empowered to set up private refineries. By setting up these private refineries, they are employing people. The unemployment in Nigeria is tackled. As government has no vacancy anywhere, they should create an enabling environment for individuals to set up businesses that can employ people. Why is it that government is involved in everything? And uh, now we are talking about the removal of subsidy. If the petroleum sector is completely deregulated, completely deregulated, in a way that the federal government, you are only selling crude, Mr. A can decide to set up one refinery in, a, in, a, in, in Abuja, can decide to set up another refinery in, a, in, a, in Abiyokuta, can decide to set up another refinery anywhere he chooses. It becomes his business. If he wants, he can sell petrol for 18 naira per liter because he's making his gain at that price. Then any other person can decide to be selling at 160, can decide to be selling at 200. Then the masses of Nigeria should be the people deciding where they are going to buy. But everybody is refining and the standard organization is ensuring that the fuels are well refined. We can set up all these structures. Why are we talking about subsidy every day? And now we are, we are in, before you know it, the whole Nigeria will go up in, in crisis again because of uh, uh, Labour Congress, because of subsidy politics. And even this president, before he came to power, before 2015, he said it himself that there is nothing like subsidy. Eventually, when he got into power, he discovered there is a very deep rooted politics of subsidy in this country. And nobody wants to tackle that. Every time you guys are just holding people to ransom, discussing subsidy. Why should government be subsidizing fuel price if private individuals can actually set up refineries and refine and sell fuel? Sorry, my phone, my phone just fell off, but I've recovered it. We need to tell ourselves the truth, please. Let's tell ourselves the truth in this country for once. My name is Uge Uge Uge. I'm just making all these observations because I believe that if we are sincere in this country, we can set up this country to function for the good of all. We are not doing that because we are playing politics. And the more we play politics, the more the country is sinking. Thank you.